Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to test out unique, and I mean unique. These are some of the most fascinating things I've seen, and super cute school supplies. So you got these pens, and these, and these. They're basic and boring, but then you got these. Fun. I don't know about you, but if I owned these cute pens, I would be so motivated to take notes and do stuff, get stuff done. Not only are they in the shape of a lipstick, they all have this water feature with little cute sparkles and confetti. This pack came in four pastel colors, pink, two shades of pink, purple, and blue. Before I try these out, I want to know your situation. If you guys are going to school, are you guys going back to school soon? Are you already in school right now? Are you doing school completely online? A hybrid between that or in person or completely in person? I am curious. Let me know. It's back to school season. School sucks. Unless you like school, then good for you. You're weird. Just kidding. Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah. Hang in there. I believe in you. I was so excited to try these out that when I first used it, nothing came out and I freaked out. And then I realized, okay, maybe it's just one of those pens that take a little bit of time. You have to keep writing until the ink comes out. That's fine. That's normal, I guess. Ink came out, but it wasn't consistent. And then I found out there's like a little plastic thing at the tip. And you're supposed to wipe that out or take that out. And then the ink will flow smoothly, consistently. These are erasers, but at least they're not basic boring erasers which is what caught my eye to them so they come in a six pack and a variety of different colors when i first saw these i thought they were two in one kind of thing like two erasers in one part but i was i was wrong i yep let me let me show you how i was wrong Yep, I thought that that part, the rolly part, was an eraser. But it's actually like a vacuum for your shavings. My mind is blown, or was blown. If you're lazy and you're not near the trash can, this is perfect for you. This is perfect for everyday use because the convenience of just rolling away your eraser shavings. Now, if you're erasing a lot, it's probably going to take longer. I mean, yeah, than just brushing it off into all into a trash can. I assume eventually that part will get dirty and it's just going to look gross. Depends on the color. The reason why I said that this is a pen look-alike thing is because I don't want to spoil what this is because this looks like a regular pen, but nope, they're scissors. Are you kidding me? They're scissors in disguise in a pen. It's a double agent. I love it. I love the idea, the whole concept. It cuts through paper easily. It can cut through two layers easily. As you can see, I made a heart. It does have a bit of trouble cutting through multiple layers of paper, but I mean, what do you expect from a scissors disguised as a pen? Not much. I like that I can just put this in my purse and go. Whenever I need to cut something, I just take it out and bam. Next product are these drinks. Whiteout, but they call it a correction tape. I, I think there are different types of whiteout. I never use these, so I don't know the proper way to use them. But let's talk about the packaging, the aesthetics of these. 
their drinks so freaking cute bought it in a heartbeat as soon as i saw these because i've never seen anything like this because i never use whiteout i'm just going to use these as decor on my desk i'm gonna be honest my favorite is the matcha tea one because that's what i drink every day matcha is so good so when I first tried these, it sucked because it didn't cover everything. I had to go over it multiple times in order to cover the entire writing. I don't know if that's common with whiteout or correction tapes, whatever. Just something I wanted to point out. They're definitely aiming towards more for aesthetics than for performance. But I don't care because I don't use whiteout, so I like these a lot. This is a reusable notebook. So this is called the Rocket Book Wave Smart Notebook. In case you're wondering, I got it for $18. It was on sale, by the way. It also came with a friction pen. I've tested the highlighters from this brand before and they are awesome. They're erasable. Every page has these gridded dotted lines and they also have a QR code that is used to scan to your phone or any device. I will demonstrate that in a bit. So they call this a reusable notebook, not because of the pen. I mean, yeah, it's an erasable pen, but because you can erase everything in the microwave which i'll show later so off camera i had my friend draw some of these in the notebook to test out keep in mind that i did not completely fill the notebook so i'm only erasing a couple of pages To scan the pages, you have to download the Rocketbook app, that's the name of the app. You have to make sure that the entire page fits the camera frame and just one click and it scans to your phone and you can send it to your email, Google Drive, etc. Now it's time to erase everything, but good thing I have a digital copy. So to do that, the directions say to fill a mug three-fourths away up with room temperature water. You put that on the circle on the cover of the notebook and you microwave in 30 second increments. You make sure you check it every 30 seconds until the arrow disappears and that's when you know it's done. I was too scared for this to catch on fire or something so I did it in 25 seconds instead. It took about three times before the arrow disappeared. I was so disappointed because it didn't completely erase everything. The directions did say to flip it on the back and do the same thing. I didn't do that because I only filled a couple of pages so I thought I didn't need to but because it didn't erase everything I also migraved the back side as well. It erased a lot more but it's not completely gone. So I'm going to say that the microwave method is just not consistent at least in my experience although push the pushing was successfully erased. I like the idea of this notebook, but I don't think it executes that well just because I think the magic is mostly in the pen than the notebook itself. I'm sure you can do the same thing with other basic notebooks and friction pens, but you probably can't put other notebooks in the microwave. There's got to be some kind of heat resistant ingredient in this notebook. Uh, here are some of the pros and cons of this notebook. You can pause to read. I do want to point out something important that I did not say earlier is that it can only be erased five times, which is not a lot. The best thing about this notebook is the direct scan feature. I love how quickly it scans to your phone and you just have a digital copy in like a second. Next product is a stapleless stapler. You don't need staples in this. Nope, none of that is needed in this thing because it can staple your papers without a staple. 
Yes, it can. So this can staple up to seven pieces of paper. I kind of messed up in the beginning, so it didn't work, but it does work. You have to make sure you put the entire paper all the way in. I don't know how it works, but it creates like a butterfly in the paper. I do want to say this is just me being picky. I don't like how it makes a big hole, so it doesn't really look good in my opinion. I still approve this because it is so cool. Plus you save money because you don't need to buy extra staples. Last but not least, I don't know if you would call this unique, but it's just something short and cute and it's a pencil case that can act as a pencil holder and it has a cat on it and I just want to show you how cute it is. Yeah, that's it. And that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!